Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Samsung Galaxy J7 2016 edition. And I did make a review of a custom ROM based on Android 10, maybe a few months ago. That was based on One UI. So many people don't really like One UI or Samsung CUI. So in that case, you can go with SP based ROM. So this one is Android ROM based on Android 10. And this ROM actually working pretty well. I have been using this ROM for a few days now. And it is kind of excellent ROM for this device. So as you can see here, see Android, Android 10, and this is an official version. The security patch level is from February 5, 2022. You are not going to get more than that actually. There are a few other ROMs available based on Android 12, but this device can't really handle them well. So this ROM I have been using and it is working pretty well. Basically, the network, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all those things are working, but no Bo LTE or Bo Wi-Fi support. Because Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi are proprietary to Samsung's UI, so th those will not work on any custom ROM. And in terms of Bluetooth and NFC, so Bluetooth and NFC does work pretty well. And one of the best thing of this ROM is that battery backup. So battery backup is pretty good. So it will last you whole day in a single charge. Obviously, you are not going to use heavy apps on this device as for now or going to do gaming here. But for basic uses, it will last you whole day. In the display setting, we have dark theme. So as this device got AMOLED panel, so if you turn on dark theme, it looks good. And if you have any burned display, it will look good on that. So right as for now, I'm turning it off. And there are a few other options like night mode is available. So if you want, you can turn it like it will make the display warmer and working. We do have live display. So reading mode and all those things, style and wallpaper basic things are available everything is pretty much here but no double tap to work or double tap to sleep so that option is not available sound and vibration working perfectly fine even there is no issue with bluetooth audio so it works really well and there are a few other settings here like link notification volume and few other things and you can change volume panel left to right up to your liking so you can turn it on now it will be left side and if i turn it off will be in right side so it's up to you storage so still as this device got only 16 gig of storage but after it installing some application is still 11 gb available so that's pretty good actually privacy and account though there are few options available location does work perfectly fine no issue security this device don't really have any kind of fingerprint scanner or anything like that but we are getting face unlock with this rom so i have already enrolled face unlock here so it is pretty fast actually so if i so as you can see here it unlocked pretty fast so you can use face unlock here pretty good accessibility section so you can get much better experience out of this rom if you turn off animation so if i turn off animation as you can see here it will feel faster See Android setting for all types of customization. There are tons of customization available. And one thing, if you want full screen gesture, you have to turn on navigation bar. After that, you have to select gesture. So now, as you can see here, full screen gesture working perfectly fine. And also the soft buttons also working. So you can use both of them together. That's good actually. Because the home button of this device kind of stuck. So I have to press a little harder. So I don't really use the home button anymore just use gestures so gesture works really well and there are a few other options available here so in terms of customization you are getting a lot of options you can change up to your liking i haven't done anything actually here few things i have changed but still there are tons of things available as you can see here and that's all actually what we are getting here so as i said if you turn on on screen navigation button then you will get the gesture options gesture option will not show you here directly here but you have to turn it on from navigation bar option so if you go to navigation and as you can see here navigation bar navigation stock navigation navigation setting then you can do it so if you have broken home buttons or soft buttons you can use full screen gesture here and it will provide you very good experience in terms of application, we are not getting a lot here. This one does not come with GFs. So if you want GFs, you have to flush separately. And I did flush GFs here. So as you can see here, Google Play Store is available. In terms of stock application, we do have audio effects here, browser, calculator, calendar, camera application. So we are getting Snapdragon camera application here. 
which does work pretty well but you might find some issue with camera actually first of all the front facing camera flash does not work with this rom and you will find some application which will not be able to access the camera so this is pretty much a common issue with custom roms for exynos devices so there is nothing much you can do with that so if you have something which cannot work with the camera application then you are out of luck but there are few fix you can do i will put the rom link with whole tutorial in the description below so if you want to flush this rom you can do that and then you have to follow step by step actually otherwise you might break your device and we do have few other application here in terms of call as i said bo lt and bo wi-fi does not work here and i did try phone call but you can't really record voice call here so downside of this rom in terms of photos we do have google photos unlimited storage so as you can see here you can upload unlimited pictures from this rom so that's pretty good actually and the play store section we are not getting any kind of safety net here so you can't use bank application here or any other application which required google play protect certification so in that case this is the downside so as you can see your device is not certified and in terms of other application i did try whatsapp so whatsapp does work perfectly fine you can make video calls without any kind of issue camera does work pretty well with whatsapp so whatsapp is working as you can see here i did make phone call just to try so calls as you can see here it worked really well in terms of browsing i usually use bia browser which works really well on older devices so you can use this and also youtube does work you can download it and it will work well on this so as you can see here browser is working so this is a pretty good rom for j7 2016 edition if you want to flash this rom as i said i will put the whole tutorial in the description below as this device runs on 8.1 so 8.1 is still pretty much usable uh, if you use bo lt and other application i think it's better to stick to 8.1 but if you want better experience out of your device you can go with custom rom so that's all about this rom for this device Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.